It's about 17 hours of phasing. And while on board the International Space Station, Crew-9 contributed to 900 hours of science, over 150 research experiments and investigations, making great use of the microgravity lab of the International Space Station, which celebrates 25 years of continuous human presence this November. Looks like we're about to get our first crew member here uh, upon egress of the Dragon spacecraft. So we are standing by for that egress. Outside of Dragon, you do see one of those stretchers. This is the expected procedure as the crew will be taken to medical facilities following their exit from Dragon. We can see folks on board clapping as our first crew member. And that is NASA astronaut Nick Haig, commander of Crew-9. Now out of Crew Dragon Freedom. Some smiles, thumbs up, and a wave. Can't get any better than that. Yeah, that is one happy camper, that's for sure. As we said before, it is standard procedure for all of our long duration crew members to receive assistance upon egressing from the spacecraft. We uh, basically help them move off of the recovery deck and into the private medical quarters for their uh, initial consultation with the SpaceX flight surgeon. So we'll see that take place for all four of our crew members today. And we are standing by for the next crew member to exit Freedom. Next up out of the capsule, we expect Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov, his first space flight. Spent 171 days in space alongside NASA astronaut Nick Haig. Looks like we're getting some cheers and clapping on board as Alexander is slid down the little ramp and placed into the mobility aid. Again, big smile. <laughs> now the two crew members remaining in Dragon are NASA astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore. They completed 286 days in space. One of the remaining footrests being removed from the Dragon spacecraft.
as I said before, we generally uh, try to have the crew members that are located in the two center seats aboard Dragon. And we like to have them egress first if possible, as it creates a little bit more movable working room inside the, inside the spacecraft. There is a recovery crew member inside that is helping all of our, um, all of our crew nine crew egress or exit from the spacecraft. We are standing by for the next crew member to egress or exit uh, Crew Dragon Freedom following the splashdown not even an hour ago at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time. really have the recovery operations down pretty quick at this point. Yeah, it's pretty incredible to think that you know, just five years ago when we were doing the initial uh, demonstration missions of the Dragon uh, for Crew Dragon that uh, now we're under about 30 minutes for, um, you know, to retrieve the spacecraft from the water and just several minutes here while it's been on board and to get everyone really to get that side hatch open. For those of you that have just recently joined, the Dragon had an on-time splashdown. Oh, it looks like we're getting our next crew member here. That is none other than Sunny Williams. Big smile, big waves. She, like her other crew members, now uh, will be assisted onto the mobility aid. There we have it, some waves, some thumbs up, and some smiles. Definitely seems to be a theme among all recovery operations. Absolutely. And of course, that leaves NASA astronaut Butch Wilmore inside Dragon in seat four. We are getting some views of him now as he egresses or exits the spacecraft. Once again, some elation and cheers there from Butch Wilmore. As we mentioned before, returning to Earth from coming from a microgravity environment can wreak havoc on the